In this chapter, we're going to finish up the uh, the UI for our jQuery mobile HTML5 app. All right. So so far, we have the landing page or the home page, which looks like this. All right. So now what we want to do is create the ad page. So when we click this, it's going to bring us to the ad page, and you can see that that link goes to the a div with the ID of add which we don't have yet alright so what we're gonna do is kinda create another page alright so we're gonna use this same format actually let me just copy this whole thing here okay so that's the home page so let's go a couple spaces down alright so this here will be the add page uh, let's change the ID to add and let's see what else. Uh, so in the header, we're going to have a save button and a cancel button. All right, so let's do the cancel first. Um, let's get rid of, actually, let's change this H1 to add a to do. All right, and before that, we're going to create a link. And this is going to just go to index.html because we're going to create a click handler for this later. Uh, let's see. So we'll give it an ID. Okay, so the ID we'll say is cancel button. And then we want to include our, a delete icon and we can do that very easily just using uh, the data icon attribute okay and you can look all these up at, at the jQuery mobile website and the documentation alright and this is gonna say cancel alright and then under the H1 we're gonna create the save link same thing it's gonna go to index HTML um, all right, and let's give this a data icon. It's going to have the check icon, and I want this this button to be black. So data theme is going to be B. Okay, and we'll say save. All right, so let's see what this looks like. If we save this and reload the home page and we click on add a to do. All right, so it's taking us there. You can see we have the cancel and the save button, uh, but we need we still have all the home page content here, which we don't want. Uh, so in the content div, I'm gonna get rid of all this. Footer's fine, footer can stay the same. Uh, but here we're gonna have a form and we'll give it an ID of add form and then in here we're going to have a text input and the name is going to be to do name same with the ID and we'll give it a placeholder which is another feature of HTML5. All right, and then we want the date. So we're going to use the HTML5 date input. So type date. So let's save that. Okay, so here's our ad page. Put in the name, the date. Now it's not going to do anything for us. I mean, it goes back to, to the index page, but it doesn't add anything. Obviously, we have to do that with JavaScript. Uh, but you can see that it actually, re it actually remembered the values. 
All right, so what I want to happen um, when we save this, I don't want it to just go to index HTML. What I want it to do is I want it to submit the form. Now, if we look in this code, we don't have a submit button in our form. We want to use the save button, but it's out of it's not in the form tags, so we can't just use a conventional uh, input button. So we need to add a click handler to this save button. All right, so we're going to say on click, and we're going to use jQuery. We want to get our add form, so we'll grab that by its ID, and we want to say uh, dot submit all right so basically what we're saying here is when this save button is clicked we want to submit the form with the ID of add form which is this form here all right so when we click save it's going to submit this form now I want to do the edit page which is basically going to be the same thing so I'm just going to copy all this and call this edit page all right that looks good okay for the click handler we just want to submit the edit form and we got to change that here as well All right, and I think that's pretty much all we have to do for right now. Actually, you know what? We do have to do one thing. We need to add a delete button to the edit page. All right, so right under the last input, I'm going to put in a link. Um, link doesn't have to go anywhere. I'll give it an ID of delete. data role is going to be button okay so that should do it all right so that is I think that's all of the HTML that we need all right so basically the, the UI is done now we just need to use JavaScript with jQuery to power it so we'll start that in the next video